Welcome back to Raven Willow Farmstead. <laughs> so, when I grew up on the farm, the only thing we had for fencing was barbed wire and wooden posts. So coming out here, I wanted to do things the right way that was going to last. And I don't know how many times I had to go and chase cows that had broken through the barbed wire fence because they really don't offer a lot of resistance. If a cow wants to get through it, they'll get through it. So we set up an electric fence and I've never done that before. And of course I overthought it and it was kind of had analysis paralysis trying to set it up, but really it's quite simple. So. We got a speed right by True Test 3000. This thing will do up to 160 acres. So if I want to tie off of this fence onto any other fences, I can do that. And I don't have to worry about getting multiple um, energizers. I've also got it set up to a solar panel. So while we got some sunshine, which has been nice the last two days, we can actually start recharging the battery that this is connected to. And all this is connected to is a 12 volt battery. Um, there's a lot of different things you can look at, like uh, amp hours and, and whatnot, but really all you gotta worry about is that it's a 12 volt and that it's a deep cell rechargeable battery. So I just put this guy in here. Oh, he fell off of the I had little wooden things that it sat on here, just so it'd stay dry. Alligator clips connect the battery to the solar panel and then there's some actual O-ring clips that connect the battery to the charger. And you can actually set up multiple solar panels to the battery if you wanna charge it faster. The battery itself should last you anywhere from nine to 12 days, depending on what kind of setting you have it on. But with the solar panel charger, it'll actually do a lot more. Later, I did upgrade to a bigger battery just so I could go longer in between charges. Um, there is a lot of different options on here, like a battery tester. So this will tell you what your actual battery level is. So we've had it up for four days now. It's still saying that it's fully charged. The turtle charge is just a slow, every two and a half seconds, it sets off a shock. So as long as you're not touching that fence within that two and a half seconds, you're fine. Day is for like a sped up version during the day, slower at night, opposite for night version. And then rabbit is every second and a half. So just don't be touching it during that second and a half or better yet, shut it off uh, when you're going through. But yeah, it was really easy. We put in plastic uh, insulator clips into the trees. It's just a temporary fence until we get the, uh, the back 40 done. I put a rubber hose as an insulator around the back of the tree so that it doesn't ground out on the trees. And then I've only got one grounding rod in right now. The ground is actually the most important part. You want to make sure that that ground is in there tight. And that uh, that grounding rod is actually, I think it's like six feet tall. So it's quite a ways in there. And that's what actually completes this, the uh, connection. So the cow or something touches the fence, they go to the ground, the current goes to the ground and back to the grounding rod. That's what completes the circuit and gives them that shock. Uh, so if you don't have the ground in there properly, it won't work properly. But when you go onto a bigger piece, like this is maybe half an acre that we've got them in right now, you go into a bigger piece and you'll need three grounding rods for that entire piece. Oh my gosh. Who are you trying to skip? Hi, Willow. <laughs> Want some lettuce? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Give me treats. <laughs> oh, we're getting backed into the corner here. Why don't you go over there? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not falling for that one. I know the bull's full of treats. I need a little space, you guys. <laughs> hmm. 
Mabel. Little years go. Yeah. He was like tilting his head a little bit. <laughs> He's getting into that. Yeah. Oh yeah, here they come. Oh, I'm sorry guys, it's not feeding time yet. They cleaned that up really good though. Definitely get a cow cam. A cow cam, yep. She likes being brushed. Hey, sweet Willow. I just, I just brushed that. I just brushed that. Itchy. <laughs> okay, there you go. <laughs> and brush out the tail. Hmm? Brush out the tail. The tail is starting to need some help. Yeah. It's starting to need some work. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> Just brushing your tail out. They put you doing back there. Maintenance. Actually, I need to come with uh, some scissors. Popped around by these bushes. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good progress. We couldn't really touch her even the first day. Yeah. So what, like day four? Yeah, yeah only a couple days. They're so friendly. Let's uh, let me pet them. That's well, my goal. That's your goal. You get Wallace tame. I mean, he's the bull, so he's the one you really got to worry about. You know, I'm worried about this electric fence. I'm at some point for sure going to step on it or get hit by it. Ben already has five times, so he's still alive. You'll be all right. Hi, Mabel. I can see her eyes. Come here. She's just got the emo look. So good Wallace just going to town on that tree. Oh yeah, he's rubbing up against all the trees. What a cutie. Hi. Pretty soon, we're pretty chill with it. I would like to get that spawn. This is a very big sound into the soil. Is it good for the soil? Wow. Good. Good boy. Come on, Ben. Yes, come on, Ben. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
They've been in this little fenced area. When did we bring them home? It was on a Friday three weeks ago. For three weeks. We don't have a lot of green stuff popping up there yet. So we're still feeding them hay. Um, but all these little evergreen trees have been <laughs> stripped almost completely. Which is great, that's what we wanted them to do. Is to uh, clear out this forest. Just make it easier for us.